everybody, coming at you with another uh, Data East Pinball uh, Maintenance How-To Video. Uh, Jurassic Park is the only game I have, so that's the game we're going to use today. So again, when you watch these videos over and over, I get a little bit of deja vu, uh, but technically they're supposed to stand alone by themselves. So here's how you take the glass out. Uh, again, make sure you close the coin door before you do, uh, so you don't end up scratching or breaking your glass when it hits the coin door. So once your glass is off, uh, go ahead and pull your scorecards out. They're not really attached with anything. Just do it carefully so you don't tear them. Uh, and then really the only thing holding this whole apron on is these two screws here, one behind each scorecard. And then also I would like to note that, uh, you know, Data Ace produced this Jurassic Park, uh, you know, back in 1993. Uh, times were a little different then, and uh, nowadays as I'm doing this video uh, in light of current events, I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, so as you can see here on the apron, um, it's telling you to install six uh, stainless steel spherical objects, uh, but I didn't want that word to offend anybody, so I've blurted out for you, uh, hoping that'll do the trick. So here I have my socket, as you can see, it, it almost, the bulb doesn't fit, it's kind of tight. Um, so I'm just going to take the needle nose pliers here, kind of work the socket out a little bit to get the bulb to go in. And sometimes I kind of get in the habit of doing things or, or whatever, so again, even though I'm doing so in the video, I do recommend you cut the power off to your game, um, because if you're not used to being in there, of course, you know, one, one slip of the pliers and you're going to be shorting something out. So here, ironically, uh, we have the culprit LED of why I did this video, because uh, I was having trouble actually getting it out to replace it with a different style. Now I realize it wasn't a loose connection in the socket on all of them. This bulb was actually separating from its base. Um, you know, again, a reason to stay away from the cheap bulbs, spend the extra money when you, when you want to swap them out. So here on this third one, we can see it actually is loose. It's wiggling around. So, you know, again, carefully, you want to kind of work your way around, squeeze a little, move a little, squeeze a little, move a little, uh, work your way around the socket uh, as you make the bulb uh, a tighter fit. And just kind of keep repeating the process uh, slowly until you get it right because you know it's better to keep doing it a couple times than to do it once too far. And there you have it. So the simple reinstallation is just set your apron back down, uh, being careful not to set it on the bulbs. Make sure they are fitting through um, the, the holes in the apron. Uh, put those two screws back in. Tighten those screws back down and you're ready for your scorecards. Now, of course, I probably didn't need to show you this part of the installation because it's kind of common sense. But since I had the German version of the game with German scorecards, I, I thought I would show you not only what they look like because uh, you're not used to them, um, but also with um, Josh from uh, Loop Combo, where I got my scoop mods, uh, he's got these custom glossy inserts, uh, which I took advantage of to include in the shipping. Uh, you know, it just makes the machine look so much nicer than the factory cards. I uh, thought I'd show them off here for you. And since that's only a two-way level, I guess we're not going to have to blur that out. And there you've got his uh, custom glossy rule sheet. So here I'll leave you with a photo. Um, there's his uh, palm trees that are available as a different item, uh, as well as the other cards that are included in the set. So there you go, guys. That's the end of another great video for you. I uh, hope you learned something. hope you found it interesting. hope I didn't offend anybody. Uh, as the great Jerry Maguire once said, help me help you. If you want to see more of these videos, uh, click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Thanks. Have a great day.